This is our amazing backyard transformation. We transformed this dirt lot into a backyard paradise. This includes all landscaping, the pool build, the covered patio, and all the landscape lighting. And this entire process took over two years to complete. So now let's start at the beginning of this process. And the first thing we did was plant some bushes on the back of that retaining wall. Give the backyard some life. Next, we had to dig out the slope, which was 78 feet in length. The only tools we used were shovels, a jackhammer, and wheelbarrows. And lucky for me, my son was very helpful. He worked many hours helping dig the slope out. When it was all said and done, we had removed about 30 tons of rock and dirt. And this took about two weeks to complete. We had no idea it would be this much. If I had known that, I would have hired an excavator to do all the hard work. You see all the dirt here that we removed. It's probably 30 tons of dirt. And now it's time to build a retaining wall that runs the entire length of our backyard, which is 78 feet. But first you have to cut a hole through our brick wall to access the backyard. And they spray painted a line the length of the backyard where the concrete footing needs to be. And now they brought in the excavator to dig out the trench for the concrete footing. And looking back, I should have hired this excavator to dig out our entire slope. It would have taken one day what took us over two weeks. So after he's done digging out the trench for the footing, they're gonna insert some rebar all along the bottom of the trench. This will provide strength and stability for the retaining wall. And now it's time for the concrete pour. Oh, and guys, don't forget, if you're not subscribed yet, please do. It's completely free. Thanks. The first layer of concrete blocks will go directly into the concrete. And it's very important to get this level and straight. If it's not, then the whole wall will be crooked. Once the first layer of concrete blocks is done, they can start building the wall. And this process took about one day to complete. They're pretty quick. And I have to admit, this was a fun process to watch. It's definitely an art form. And if you live in Las Vegas and you wanna build a retaining wall in your backyard, I'll have all the company's information listed in the description below. Also, near the end of this video, I'm going to have a full price breakdown on everything we put in this backyard. And this includes the pool, the retaining wall, the patio cover, all the lights, and the landscaping. And you might be surprised at the price we paid for this backyard paradise. And remember, all these costs were in 2020 and 2021. And as you know, things have gone up in cost because of inflation and shortages so keep that in mind and as you can see these guys did a great job after they finished building the retaining wall they sealed the back of the retaining wall with a waterproof membrane this prevents water from seeping through the wall and now it's time to backfill this wall before we add any plants and we're going to add some palm trees and bushes as well as some more drip irrigation and I definitely wanted to plant these bushes before the pool building process. And trying to plant all these bushes after the pool build would be a huge mess. So once we're done planting all the bushes, the irrigation lines, and the rock ground cover, we can now mark the spot for our pool. At this end of the pool will be our wet deck and our bubbler. And then there'll be stairs that go into the pool and we'll create a large shelf with a waterfall. This pool is 36 feet long and 13 feet wide and six feet at the deepest point of the pool. And now it's time to dig a hole, a very big hole. <laughs> Once again, this was definitely a fun process to watch. It took these two guys four days to dig out this pool. At this point, they framed the pool with wood and steel rods. And you can see in the back where that shelf's gonna be for the waterfall. And at this point, they hit the dreaded caliche, very hard rock. So they had to break up that rock and then scoop it out. And we had quite a bit of caliche. I believe they charged $135 an hour to remove the caliche. And more caliche, as you can see. And it did break two machines, by the way. That's how hard that stuff is. So the process is break up the caliche and scoop it out. 
and then rinse and repeat. And what you're watching here is the last day of the pool dig. They're almost done. All they have to do is scoop out the deep end, which is about six feet deep. And guys, once again, we'll have a full price breakdown for this entire backyard. It'll be near the end of the video. And these guys are all done. The hole is dug. And we're off to plumbing. This is gonna be fun. And guys, don't forget, visit our Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. Thanks. So the first thing that gets installed is the in-ground pool cleaner. This in-ground pool cleaner will clean the bottom of the pool automatically. As you can see, the heat at the PVC pipes, which allows them to curve the pipes. And once it's set, they pour water on it to make it hard again. It's a pretty cool process. The entire pool plumbing process took about three days, which includes all the pipes and the pool pump and pool filter. And once again, it's pretty amazing to watch this process. There's PVC pipes going everywhere, but most of these pipes are for the in-ground pool cleaner. We have 22 pop-ups throughout the pool, and these pop-ups are in stations, with a total of six stations. And this means while the pool pump is running, the in-ground floor cleaner is running as well, which means this pool is clean all the time. And the best part about that is I don't have to do a thing. This was well worth the price. Now the rest of the pipes in this pool are for the skimmer, the return, the drain, and the waterfall. All of these pipes lead to the side of the house where the pool pump is located. On the side of the house is our pool pump, large pool filter, and our large solar pool heater. We'll show you that installation later in the video, but that was a separate installation. All right, now that we're done with the pool plumbing, it's time for the rebar, and there's a bunch of it. These guys showed up about seven o'clock in the morning and were done before noon. And that's a good thing because in Las Vegas, in July, it's about 110 degrees during the day. And now it's time for the shotcrete. There's a lot of prep work with the shotcrete process. You don't want this stuff flying around. So basically they enclosed the entire pool to protect my house and the landscape. And here comes the concrete truck. And this process is pretty amazing. Somehow they hooked this hose up to the concrete truck and I'm guessing it's pressurized because that concrete is coming out pretty fast. And as that big guy sprays the concrete into the pool, the other guys begin to form the pool. It's really fun to watch how they build the stairs and those shelves and even the ledge for the waterfall. Anytime you can watch concrete flying out a hose and then form a shape of a pool, that's pretty freaking cool. This process took one day to complete. And as you can see, it took seven guys to get this all done. After that big guy's done spraying all the concrete into the pool, the rest of the crew can begin to shape the pool. As the concrete dries, they can shape the pool and try to smooth everything out and round the corners. It doesn't have to be perfect because the blue quartz plaster will go over this. The concrete needs to cure for seven days. So I had to water the concrete twice a day for seven days. And now it's on to the tile installation. And we chose a pool tile that looks like marble. Kind of that Greek look. So what they're doing now is adding wood planks all on the bottom where the tile will rest on when they install it. It's kind of a guide. And it definitely makes installing the tile much easier. And now they're gonna tile the waterfall. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe, it's completely free. Thanks. And once they're done installing the tile, they're gonna go back and grout it. And after they're done grouting it, they'll wipe it off. And now we're all done with the tile. And now they can install the LED pool light pretty quick. And now it's time to pour the patio. And we have a lot of square feet of patio. But first they have to prep it, get it all flat. It took a lot of guys all day to get this done. Once they get the ground all flat, they'll add two by fours to frame the patio. 
and this process took about two days just to prep it. Once they're done prepping for the patio, they can begin to pour the concrete. And this is pretty amazing and it took a lot of guys to get this done. They started pretty early in the morning and finished when the sun went down. And once again, this is definitely an art form. Just watching how they spread the concrete out and then get it flat and level and then smooth it out. And then they add the drainage lines for the water to run off. And then they go back and brush it. It was a sight to behold. They did a fantastic job. Truly amazing. And guys, don't forget at the end of this video, I'll show you the price breakdown for everything. The grand total. And it wasn't as expensive as I initially thought it would be. So make sure to watch till the end of the video. Now it's on to the last step, which is the quartz pool spray. And we chose Caribbean Blue, a beautiful color. Before they spray the quartz plaster, they have to prep the pool by removing any debris and washing off the concrete. Once the concrete is nice and clean, they can begin to spray the quartz plaster. It reminds me of shaving gel coming out the hose. After they spray on the Caribbean Blue quartz plaster, they'll begin to shape it and smooth it out. And as the plaster begins to dry, they'll keep working it and smoothing it out. And then they'll wait some more and then smooth it out again. And they rinse and repeat until it's all done. Once again, it's an awesome thing to watch. And once it's all done, I can then add the water. And this took 24 hours to fill up for about 18,000 gallons. And the pool build is done. And now on to the solar pool heater installation. The solar pool heater will heat our pool for free in the summer. Pretty cool. So the water from the pool will travel up the roof to the pool heater, which is plastic tubes. And the sun will heat these tubes up, which in turn heats the water. And then the water travels back down the tubes to the pool pump, where warm water is pumped back into the pool. It's really that simple. And a thermostat comes with this pool heater, so we can set it and forget it. We keep our pool between 85 and 91 degrees, which is very comfortable. And they're all done. Looks great. And now we're going to install some LED lights. These LED lights are controlled with a remote, and they're also on a timer. So once again, set it and forget it. Oh guys, don't forget, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's completely free. Thanks. It's really amazing what a set of lights will do to your backyard. It makes a huge difference. Next is the turf installation. They installed the turf on the side of the house first, and it took two large rolls for this install. All they do is roll the turf out and then cut it to size. This reminds me of a carpet installation. Once they roll out the turf, they simply cut it to size. And they secure the turf to the ground with nails. And they use a lot of nails. And they're also gonna to have to connect that seam in the middle. They'll connect it and hammer it down until you can't see that seam anymore. It basically disappears. And this installation took a full day. However, I decided not to show the prep work, where they add the sand and made the ground level. It was kind of boring to watch. Well, the turf looks great and feels great. And what a difference some green can make. Now, before we install the turf around the pool, we're going to stucco and paint that retaining wall. Make it look pretty. And once again, it took a full day to stucco the entire wall. And this is a very cool process to watch. They transform this ugly concrete wall into something really beautiful. So after they're done stuccoing the wall, we'll let it dry for a couple days, and then they're gonna come back and paint the whole wall. And the color we chose matches our house. So it took about a half a day to paint this wall. It was a very quick process. And going from that ugly concrete retaining wall to a beautiful stucco painted wall is a big improvement. And let me know in the comments what you think about this wall. Do you like it? Or do you prefer the block wall? And once they're done painting the wall and let it dry for a couple of days, they're gonna come back and add that turf around the pool. All they did was cut some turf into long pieces 
about 12 inches wide, and then lay it down and nail it into place. Pretty simple process. And the main reason we chose artificial grass over real grass is two things, the maintenance and saving water. And a bonus with going with artificial turf is that there's less bugs. We still have a few ants, but that's really it. And now we're all done with the turf installation. Looking good. Now we're going to add some lights to the backyard. These are ARGB smart lights from XM Cozy. And these lights have a variety of color patterns to choose from and can be set to turn on and off at different times. So they're fully automated. And one of the main goals of our backyard paradise is that everything is on a timer. We set it and forget it. I gotta be honest, I got a bit nervous on this ladder, especially at the top of that roof. That was about 24 feet. Otherwise, a very easy installation. Screw in a hook and hang the light. And we're all done. And let's check out some different color modes. And with these lights, you can adjust the brightness and change the light colors to whatever you want. And there's nine different scenes as well. This one is called Chase. Now it's time for the covered patio install. And we hired Coda Patios out of Las Vegas for the installation. This install took one day to complete. They were fast and efficient. This patio cover is well built and stands up to a lot of wind and heat. So guys, stay tuned for the full price breakdown at the end of this video. We're almost there. The main reason we decided to put a patio cover right here was so that when we're in the pool in the shallow end, we get a little bit of shade. Without this patio cover, the backyard pool deck gets hammered by the sun all day with no relief. And they have two more pieces to install and then they're all done. And this patio cover even has a gutter. So when it rains, the water is pulled away from the patio. All right, it's time to add some lights to this patio cover. These are the same brand lights we use for the house, except these are only white. However, these are dimmable, so we can adjust the brightness. And once again, these are on a schedule, so they go on and off at the same time as the house lights. Fully automated. All right, guys, it's time for the full price breakdown for the entire backyard paradise. First, the retaining wall cost around $8,000. All plants on both retaining walls total in at $4,000. The entire pool with the pool deck is $55,000. The solar pool here was $3,000. All the turf and the painted stucco wall totaled $10,000. The covered patio cost $3,000. And all the landscape lighting was around $400 with a grand total of $83,400. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And we'll see you real soon. Peace.